Hi, welcome to Daydreams of Quilts on YouTube. I'm Anita. Today I would like to show you the fabrics that I've gotten since January. So for the first quarter of 2022, these are the fabrics that have come in to my studio. So let's get started. Okay, so I will start with fabrics from Thread Count Fabrics and their website is threadcountfabrics.ca so i got a whole bunch of plaids when they had a plaid sale um and some of these uh, southwest looking ones so i thought i would make some boxy toolkits with these for father's day and i bought these two for these are just regular quilting cottons i bought these for the bag linings so if you saw my previous video on the boxy tool pouch i already used one of the fabrics that i got from them and then i realized i didn't really have manly looking zippers so i got some zippers from bluecalapatterns.com she usually this is celeste she's a really cool bag designer as well um she usually gets my zippers out to me the next day and that's why i prefer to order from her she ships really quickly so these are all to go with these bags um a new to me shop is ivy rain fabrics here's their card and they are here in Alberta, ivyrainfabrics.com. Um, I think they're in Stetler. So I ordered a bunch of Tula Pink and I've already made them into tea cozies, but this is Tula Pink's um, Curiouser and Curiouser. It's an Alice in Wonderland theme. So I thought they would be great for tea cozies because they are tea party themed. So, these are the fabrics that I got. Oh, and I got these awesome little um, maker tags. The maker tags are from everemblem.com. So and then this is Alice with braces. I think that's cool. And then I put the teacups inside again. And another color of Alice. And then I had the Red Queen, but she sold already. So um, I'll show you my scrap that I have left. There's the Red Queen. So I maybe make some mug rugs or something with what's left. Um, also from Ivy Rain, I got this Ruby Star Society knit, knitting themed. It's by Sarah Watts, it's called Pearl. And then I got this for the bag lining. So I will be making um, knitting bags with this. And still from Ivy Rain, because she has a fat quarter subscription. These are the first two months that I got. This is, this line I think is called Boho Blooms. So I got five fat quarters from that. I didn't know what was coming. It's a surprise every month. So I think these will be good for bags. And then the second month was this fabric. And this is by Patty. Sloninger for Andover Fabrics. I hope I said her name right. A hundred years swallowtail. So that was what was on that salvage. Not all of them have salvage that tell me what their names are. So, and this one has a pretty swan or crane. I think it's a crane, it has long legs. So, here, I'll hold that up. So, these are pretty. I really like big prints like this for bags or even a feature pocket on a bag. So, 
So I hope you can see all of these on the camera. Butterflies. And this is like a architectural. I believe it is a very fancy um, greenhouse what you would see on a beautiful estate. All right, so those were all from Ivy Rain. These are from Birdie and Dot in Edmonton. And I have no plan. I just bought these because they're Heather Ross and I absolutely love Heather Ross and I collect her fabrics. So there's this one, this one with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Here's the Seven Dwarfs. And there's their laundry hanging outside. And Snow White sleeping in the forest. And then these cute little girls, cowgirls, playing with horses. Adorable print. Of course I had to get mushrooms because I just love them. And I love this colorway with the gray and the yellow. And the seven dwarfs laundry hanging out on the clothesline so cute so those are from birdie and dot fabrics uh the next ones here are from studio 39 fabrics and she's in lethbridge alberta and her website is studio 39 fabrics.com so these are the new Darlene's collection from Ruby Star Society and I just absolutely love these typewriters and can't get enough of them and I'm so glad that they have been re-released and then roller skates I have to do something cool for my daughter with these she is a roller skate fan I got the canvas of the typewriters and so I will be making some tote bags with this and another colorway of typewriters. And with the navy blue, or is this black? I think it's black on the background. More roller skates. These ones have metallic ink. And the teal background, canvas weight typewriter. So these will be definitely be turned into bags, these canvas ones. So I was very excited. I think I got the last of this one. Maybe she's getting more in, I'm not sure. But I was like, oh my gosh, it's almost sold out. So... And then also from Studio 39 Fabrics, I got a wide back. So I'll be putting that on the back of a quilt or two. Okay. Um, from Emmeline Bags, I got interfacing. And I also got um, a half yard of duck waxed canvas. So this will be, this is a really nice weight. Um, this will definitely be bags, tote bags and knitting bags. I have some nice um, Rifle Paper Co. to go with that. This is from Backstitch Fabrics. I might have got this one actually. I got this before Christmas. But this is the, the Griswolds family vacation Christmas. You know, you know what movie I'm talking about. I can't think of it right now. But um, this is a smooth vinyl. They have um, a new website called Backstitch Prints, and that's where they sell the bag supplies. So I got, um, this just came in a couple weeks ago, the Sandworm from Beetlejuice. This is a textured vinyl. And this one is the Beetlejuice print, and it glows in the dark. So it charges in the light, and then it glows in the dark smooth vinyl and I got a couple of bag zipper pulls I got um, 
this one and this one handbook for the recently deceased and showtime with beetlejuice so i am not sure what i'm making yet possibly a necessary clutch wallet not sure yet okay so these some of these were pre-orders that i ordered before christmas and they came in in the last few weeks this is the rainbow geos from blended thread fabrics so i got this in a cotton woven so that i can make a tote bag with it this one is the rose gold or blush geos again in cotton woven and it's from blendedthread.ca so that will also be tote bag and possibly wallets this is from wonderlust fabrics in florida and this is for my daughters because they are just crazy about axolotls so this is the adult panel in cotton lycra this will become a hoodie he's got a pogo stick and a donut too cute i could not pass that up uh this is the child's size panel and then they also had well they had quite a few things on this pre-order but they had these pangolins so i got the child size pangolin this would be for my little seven-year-old and then there's an adult size pangolin panel all of these are cotton lycra they could be leggings but i think my girls blow holes in the cotton lycra too quickly so i think these will be shirts and then this is the axolotl coordinate so this could be like the sleeves or the hood. And then look at these cute little snails. So cute. And more axolotls. This is another child panel. And then I got woven. So I probably will make a couple bags. I got the, the little axolotls here and then the coordinate in woven so this could maybe be like the front panel pocket on a tote bag and then this is an adult another adult so maybe mommy is gonna have a snacks a lot shirt too we'll see so cute and then we have more from blended thread this was also pre-ordered so this is the opal geos And it is cotton lycra, so probably going to be tank tops and shorts for summer. This is navy and rose gold geos from Blended Thread, and it's um, bamboo French terry. So very stretchy. I'm actually wearing some leggings that I made with it right now. <laughs> so um, these are great for leggings sweatshirts hoodies and I have been going to the gym every day so um, I need lots of different pairs of leggings so made leggings with that and probably a pair of shorts will be coming for my daughter oh this is a scrap this is a another geo from blended thread it has flowers and butterflies this is also bamboo French terry. And I put a vote up on my Instagram stories. Should I make leggings or a hoodie? And the hoodie won the vote. So I'll be making myself a hoodie with this. I really like the graphic quality of it. And this is from Blended Thread. I bought this on one of the retail stockings. This is super soft um bliss is what they call this substrate so this is probably going to be the lining of a hood on a coat and then this is soft shell 
this is the base it's soft shell so this will be the main body of the coat that I'm gonna make probably a spring jacket spring and fall this was a pre-order from blended threads it's bamboo French terry and it's probably gonna be a sweatshirt for my junior high daughter really cute little spacemen with balloon moons that they're holding on to and standing on and this is from blended thread it is a rib knit double rib knit here you can see the substrate so this one is a bleach rainbow bleach was the name of it i believe and not sure what i'm making yet possibly summer romper I'm not sure yet and then i ordered this one in this was a pre-order as well i got it in the dark colorway it's got mountains and birds so it's probably going to become a hoodie with these stripes as the sleeves because i saw holly from blended thread do a hoodie on instagram and it looked really cool so these are also bamboo french terry that's probably my favorite one that i order that substrate the most and then i forgot that i ordered that and i ordered the light one on on a retail stocking so i have the option to make a light version of the hoodie as well also bamboo french terry and this is the print with the birds and the mountains so we're heading to the mountains in the spring so hopefully i will have these sewn up to wear while we're at the mountains and then this was also from blended thread and i have already made a pair of leggings with this panel on the side of the leg and i'm going to make a hoodie this is one of the tall panels that they sell so you can definitely get a hoodie out of one panel um, then I have the child size panel so I will be making that a little shirt for my little seven-year-old with this and this was the coordinate and these are all in bamboo French terry as well but you can order multiple different substrates from blended thread or fabric base if you prefer to call it that so that's the trees. So this is another great one to wear the mountains. So I hope you had fun seeing all my goodies that I've gotten the last three months. Thank you for being a part of my show and share today here on YouTube. Oh, I want to show you one other thing. I got these um, cork labels with my business name on them. And I'm going to use them in bags and wallets. But they're from Spotted Zebra Engraving. And they are in Calgary, Alberta and you can find them on etsy and spottedzebra.ca i found them on etsy so yeah so i guess i better get sewing because i have a lot of fabric to sew through thanks for watching don't forget to click like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos from daydreams of quilts see you next time